Yes, hi, thank you for joining us. We're going to be running a sample on a spectrophotometer today, actually two spectrophotometers, one which will uh, be a very familiar instrument to you, one which is a brand new technology uh, on a turbid sample. Uh, this is a, spec a uh, sample which you really can't see very well through. Um, and it, these happen to be homium oxide filter particles uh, in suspension. It could be yeast cells, bacteria, human red blood cells, um, any turbid sample that you currently struggle with because of light scattering. If you have a spectrophotometer such as the ubiquitous eight, uh, diode array, uh, you can put the sample in and collect a scan, which we're going to be doing here uh, using the OLIS software on this particular 8452. And what the instrument is going to collect for us is what you're accustomed to seeing with a high turbidity sample. Very high absorbance reading. This is point, what is this, 1.8, uh, point, .88, and a nondescript spectrum. We'll take that same sample now and put it in this new technology spectrophotometer by Olus, which we've named the Clarity. And um, Dima will be doing that here. And what we'll see is a, uh, the result of years of effort of finding a way to eliminate the effect of scatter uh, while also uh, equipping a laboratory with nanomolar sensitivity and, in uh, some instances, high speed rapid scanning. Now these specs will be collected at a normal scan rate, um, and um, actually there's the uh, answer there already. That's the homium oxide filter that we're going to be collecting. But here we're doing it real time, and you'll see the specs will come in uh, nanometer by nanometer. And instead of the nondescript uh, high absorbance value that the diode array was able to collect for us, the clarity is in fact going to be able to find all the characteristic peaks of this metal oxide uh, nanoparticle suspension and do so quite easily in a sample much more turbid than you would ever successfully use on another instrument in your laboratory. So currently this uh, clarity is being used by groups dealing with nanoparticle suspensions, uh, human red blood cells, uh, meal cells, uh, cyanobacteria, algae, anything with high turbidity uh, which cannot be studied on an ordinary spectrophotometer can now be done with the clarity. Uh, this has obviously replaced all previous gold standard instruments including the dual wavelength technology and integrating spheres and we hope that you will soon send us a sample that we can run for you and prove to your satisfaction that the clarity is the way to go. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us. Thank you.